Hi, I'm Alyssa, your Free Range Psychic, and today it is September the 8th, uh, 2019, and uh, today I'm going to do a guided reading on Ghislaine Maxwell. Uh, so um, when I do my readings, I uh, don't shuffle the cards and draw them out that way. I ask my guides to show me the cards psychically, and then I pick them out of the deck and um, I use a simple Celtic cross. So the deck I'm using today is from the uh, Gilded Tarot by Sarah Marchetti. So the subject card is the moon. So this card, uh, my guides tell me, this is um, Ghislaine in, in hiding. Um, she's very aware of, you know, what people are saying about her and the speculation, but she's in the dark right now. She's I, I could be, I obviously could be wrong, but I think that she might be in Europe, like somewhere like in France or, um, you know, she, she's hiding out somewhere, but still paying attention, you know, to, to everything that's going on regarding the media and, uh, um, you know, legal stuff, what's going on with his will. Above her is Five of Pentacles. So this, this was interesting. My guides uh, told me that, um, so this is Ghislaine, this woman, and I hadn't noticed uh, this in this context. I mean, um, or hadn't thought of it in this context, that she's holding a child. And then this is a man. And so this is a, they're telling me this is the transaction. This is um, uh, alluding to a, a human trafficking and the trafficking of um, young girls. And, um, you know, these pentacles, this represents uh, the um, uh, monetary uh, um uh, uh, gain or the, you know, the, the business aspect of things, you know, how much <laughs> basically that's, uh, that's this transaction. So in the recent past is the Hierophant. So this is uh, Ghislaine in her guise as the charitable, um, uh, uh, organizer uh, and, uh, of her, um, and of, you know, the, uh, event holder for her ocean conserva conservation charity um, and uh, so she's respectable she's um, you know uh, in a uh, position of um, authority and um, uh, someone who is um, beneficent who's working for the good of all for working for the environment this is a disguise though but this is this is uh, her in recent past uh, her is is as the um, you know the good doer and the uh, the one who, you know who, the compassionate one who's uh, who's caring for the environment um, by uh, running this organization. In the uh, below card is uh, this is Ghislaine. She's uh, getting ready uh, for um, right now she's in, in the mode of uh, preparing for any kind of attack or uh, she's getting all her ducks in a row she's uh, she's hunkering down making sure she's um, defended on all sides for what may come uh, related to Epstein's death and uh, the these young uh, these women who have uh, uh, had their day in court <laughs> although minus Epstein uh, who are bringing her name up repeatedly and uh, demanding that something, uh, you know, happens that's going to bring justice because they're saying she, she was as much involved in uh, this, this scheme of, uh, of human trafficking than, than uh, uh, as, as much involved as anybody, including Epstein. In the near future, they say this is infighting. This is Ghislaine and other people involved in Epstein's uh, and her business regarding the trafficking and the black alleged blackmail and all of that stuff. They're wanting a, uh, uh, they're fighting for a piece of uh, the pie uh, for for Epstein's money for the for um, a part of the will, a part of the proceeds, and there there is this internal f uh, fight that's that's coming. Uh, who, you know, who gets the biggest piece of the pie, or who deserves the pie, and who doesn't deserve the pie. So the clarifying card is the Ten of Swords. 
so my guides say that um, all uh, that 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 uh, is is going to be soon facing her karma uh, regarding uh, her dealings with these girls and Epstein and whatever nefarious businesses that went on. She's going to face her accusers. She's going to. Uh, see her day in court. Uh, the, 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 her crimes are going to catch up with her and be her undoing. And the um, outcome is the tower. So in this uh, instance, uh, my guides say the tower means that um, Ghislaine, who has been really well defended in the past um, by money and celebrity and uh, all her contacts and influences and uh, whatever the alleged blackmail, you know, provided her with um, in terms of uh, being uh, immune from the law, immune from uh, consequences of her deeds. Uh, this is all going uh, to um, be uh, cracked <laughs> by this illumination, this lightning. Uh, uh, her defenses are um, uh, challenged. Uh, they're no longer she's no longer invulnerable. And this is her falling out of the tower. This is her being very vulnerable to. Um, these charges that are coming. So she's no longer safe within her tower. And so she's she's going to um, uh, have to, uh, she, yeah, she's she, she's going to have to uh, face the uh, the consequences um, uh, in in a much more more vulnerable way than she's she's ever been used to because she was raised you know, uh, uh, by a very wealthy father, and she's always been in this rarefied environment, but she's no longer going to be uh, granted that protection. So that is my uh, uh, update on uh, Ghislaine Maxwell. I know I haven't done actually a character study of her, and I will, but I, I will do, but this was what my guides wanted me to read on. So the, um, the next thing is they wanted uh, me to do an oracle card for us and this is the one they chose um, and it's, oh, it's from the messenger oracle guidebook by Ravan Falan and it's seek or, or see the truth so I will read um, what this uh, card means Do not be deceived. Be watchful and mindful of the illusions others weave around themselves and that you may weave around yourself. Know the night, understand the shadows. See through the darkness of the light to the, tru to the truth. Pay attention to contradictions. Notice when actions and words are not in harmony. Hone your intuition and insight so that you may know the minds and hearts of those around you and yourself. And trust in the wisdom born of that awareness. So th this card to me speaks of illumination of the shadow. Uh, and, and it also you know, makes me jump to this current administration, the Trump administration that is completely based on untruths and fabrications and illusions and how important it has been to uh, see th through illusions and, 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 and truth without has or sorry uh, untruth without hesitation because um, this administration has used you know the Orwellian um, distortion of, of fact so that uh, tr Trump and, and his other administration um, members will blatantly uh, tell a lie in your mind is like what <laughs> is that true and we know it's not true but when somebody says it as truth it's a natural um, uh, uh, inclination to, to be, want to believe it but why would somebody lie and yet everything has been a lie and it's it's a very um, it's very damaging to the psyche uh, to to have to be confronted with that and then the ramifications of of uh, the fact that you know we're we're given so many untruths and so much is illusion. So this card speaks of uh, not just 
uh, recognizing that in others, but also when we tend to deceive ourselves. You know, it's the, um, the the thing, the whole thing about shadow. You know, that we true illumination, which in a way I, this card makes sense with you know that. But but true illumination is seeing our own shadow, not just projecting projecting it onto others because we're uncomfortable with our own darkness. And we all have um, uh, you know dark emotions. It's it's human. It's natural. But they can be used creatively and productively if 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 we illuminate them and we uh, accept them and then we um, do the work to transmute them in, into something higher with a higher resonation to not, not be ashamed of your own darkness, but to have, be compassionate to recognize it, um, uh, be compassionate with it, and then take that energy and. Uh, yeah, transform it into something that is beautiful, positive, deep, uh, uh, something that assists others, even if it's a, a, a poem about those feelings. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, other people can look at that and go, oh, yeah, I feel that way too. And, you know, so uh, that I think this is at least, one, uh, uh, you know, something of the meaning of this card. It, I think it has a lot of different uh, meanings uh, regarding, um, you know, truth and 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 uh, illusion um talks about uh you know knowing the night <laughs> um so that, that 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 sometimes it's hard for especially people on a spiritual path uh to to see that part of themselves because um you know they they feel like the requirement to be spiritually uplifted is to have no stain of any negativity and so they they repress it or deny it in themselves. But it, it, it's important to to um, uh, yeah be aware of that and 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 see the truth. You know, see see what is really happening. Uh, and and yeah, that that's what this card's also bringing to mind: witnessing, not not going, oh God, that's too heavy for me. I can't look at that. But uh, like the like the abuse that's going on with the migrant children or the environment. Um, yeah, it, it, it's heavy on the heart, and, and there are times you do need a break. But don't cut off from it. Don't pretend it's not there. It is there. See it. At least have witness to it. Recognize it. Call it for what it is. Uh, and, and bring it into the light so that it's not allowed to happen. Because those things happen in the dark. They happen in the dark uh, away from awareness, away from the light. Uh, and 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 they, those kinds of things, the people you know who uh, orchestrate them, like Miller and Trump, uh, as well as you know uh, down the line, uh, down the pecking order, uh, uh, rely on people's tendency to not want to see, to complete the task. And you know you you hearken back to the Nazis, and well, people always ask, well, how did the Germans let that happen? How did they let that genocide happen exactly in that way? Uh, they um, uh, were lulled into illusion and and to half truths and to uh, distortion to to, to um, kind of disconnect, dissociate, uh, rationalize, and then there you go, you had you know the a mass genocide. So uh, stay in truth, uh, you know, be have sight in in the dark. Uh, bring witness, and uh, uh, that helps us cleanse, that helps us um, stand in the light, that helps us bring the light onto these things, and then we can stop these things, we're, because we're not going to just idly, uh, you know, stay in our illusion, stay in our, our own darkness, um, our own blanket of veils, so that uh, it, it can continue. It, it, it calls on a lot of... Um, strength and a lot of uh, determination, I think, especially in, in this time, because it's just so every single day, you know, there's something <laughs> off, new and awful that is coming up to awareness, but we still need to see it. We still need to identify it and we need to take action, uh, whatever action we can take. And it, it, I think that whatever action we take, uh, the first action and probably uh, the most significant action to begin with is seeing uh, not being the uh, the crowd of uh, people, you know, the emperor's new clothes. Or the, <laughs> the little boy is going to be uh, brave enough to say the emperor is naked. Um, 
we all have to be that that child in in that way we all have to you know say no that is wrong that's not true i don't care what they're telling me i i know what i see what i see i know what i know and you know you you have you all have different uh, and and varied representations of this too but this is what's coming to my mind so um i hope everybody is well today uh my heart uh, goes out to the those in the Bahamas and uh, those uh, you know that are are still dealing with Dorian. Uh, it's uh, it made me laugh. You know, this I, I don't listen to. I hardly listen to Trump. He just makes me sick. He just it's awful. As you, I'm sure the majority of you feel that way too. To hear him, he's just like. Ugh. But. Um, when when he, when they showed clips of him saying you know a category five wow I've never heard of that I mean doesn't that then mean yeah climate change isn't, isn't he basically saying oh I guess these hurricanes are getting pretty bad <laughs> wow <laughs> like why is that <laughs> it just seems silly to me like but uh, he's uh, I don't know a child and uh, you know also a demon at the same time well you guys uh, saying that. It's uh, my Sunday. Uh, I don't know when this is going to reach you, um, but uh, wherever you are, I'm sending you my love. Um, and uh, you guys take care. And I will do another video um, uh, soon.